Hey, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Swamico with just a cute little critter. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it just a perfect little critter to have for Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, to give you a nice big hug. This oh, is actually yeah. a little, yeah, this is a little ball python. And these ball pythons, this is a little male. We have two males on exhibit. We're inside our, our Education and Conservation Center. And this is Sly, and he's about 14 years old. Now, the oldest uh, recorded uh, captive um, ball python uh, lived to about 47 years old so these guys can live uh, you know a nice long life and you can take a look at the ball python they also are called the royal python and if you look at the the skin pattern it gives you it's kind of a royal look to it and that's what they were called but these are pythons and what's interesting is we're going to take a look at we'll see if we can take a look at the head and she's moving around quite a, or he's moving around quite a bit. But you can see the tongue that's flicking out. Now, with snakes, you know, they keep their mouth closed, and there's a little groove that the tongue sticks out. Now, when you think about the tongues, their tongues are forked, and they're actually really used to, to actually smell the area to test and see what's out there. So, you know, he's testing, checking everything out, and you can see that little tongue that's sticking out. And now, his tongue is pink. And uh, most snakes, their tongue can be either pink, blue, but most of them are black. Yeah. And then, if, yeah, and if you take a look, you know, just on the upper part of the mouth, there's a little ridge there. And those are heat receptor pits. Now, with these guys, their sight isn't really good. You know, they have no eyelids, but they have these heat receptor pits. And each one of them, there's nerves on the bottom, and they can tell with three one thousandths of a degree a change and they're all you know they all they're like fans and they all point a different direction so this particular guy can tell where the warmth is a potential prey item in any direction and down to that type of a degree but they change. don't see no you know they can see but their eyesight you know that's one thing they don't have much on on eyesight as okay. far as be able to see any distance now the other thing too you don't see any ears right right and that's because with us, you know, I mean, we have the middle ear and we have an eardrum. Uh, they're lacking both. They actually have a, a little ossicle, a little bone inside that is also attached to the skull. And what they feel is what they're going to hear is from the ground and what, where, they're, where they'd be laying on, they'd feel the vibrations. So that's the only thing that they can actually feel is the vibrations. So they don't actually hear you know, the, the same way that we do. And now you know, Pete. Well, yeah. And you know, and I've, <laughs> I've touched those snakes before, and a lot of people, they, they refer to them as slimy. They're not slimy at all, No, really, they're not. They? They're slimy. No, they're yeah. not. You know, they almost feel kind of rubbery or yeah, leathery, right. you know, something like that. Yeah. But they're uh, real interesting animals. If you get an opportunity to come on out and check them out in our education center. I just love the way they move. Yeah.